Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gonna give you a quick guide on how to start a vending machine business. If you didn't know, vending machines can be very, very profitable. And when you can find good, high traffic location and serve a popular item, you can consistently rake in the cash. So if you wanna help people quickly get what they need and make money doing it, here's how to get started. So before you begin, it's helpful to decide on what you want to sell. You can go the standard route, which is selling snacks and drinks, but there are other non-food items that are super popular too, like laundry supplies, electronics, skincare, hair care products, toiletries, fitness merchandise, and even beach supplies. So once you decide on what you actually want to sell, then you can proceed to step one. If you have no idea how a vending machine business operates, or maybe you're just a first time business owner, I recommend downloading a business plan from bplans.com. Their plans outline exactly how the business is supposed to work and what you should expect. When you start a business like this, you're gonna need two things. One, vending machine, and two, supplies to fill it up. If you plan on growing this business, Please find a supplier who you can buy in bulk from. You'll get all of your supplies for much, much less, which means more profits and money for you. To find a machine to buy, just head on over to Google and type in these words, wholesale vending machines. When you need to find supplies, just go to Google and type in wholesale vending machine supplies or replace the word vending machine with whatever you plan on selling and stocking in your machine. As you can see, your listings will update and from here you can find a company to buy in bulk from. You can actually buy the actual vending machine and all of your supplies from Amazon Business. They always have quality products at a low price and an account with them is free. After you've done this, you can now proceed to step three. Now that you've got all that sorted, it's time to officially register your business. You won't be able to buy wholesale supplies or even a vending machine until you complete this step. You're going to need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form an LLC or a corporation. And depending on what state you're in, you may need a reseller or a retail merchant certificate too. This is going to allow you to buy all those products tax free. For incorporation, I recommend using my corporation as they do have a variety of packages to choose from and their most basic package will get you started right away. So after you've chosen a name for your vending machine business, then you can officially open a business bank account. It's pretty easy to open, but they won't get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork and the EIN number that I just spoke about. So you can work with a local bank that you're already using or just choose a new one. Branding is one of the most important parts of creating any kind of business, including a vending machine business, because it's your brand's identity that's going to leave a big impression on your clients. I recommend using 99designs because the process is painless and simple and you actually get what you want. Vending machine businesses will usually need to start with a logo, business cards, and some professional t-shirt designs. 99designs actually has what they call the brand identity pack that'll get you started right away. So the next step is to buy web hosting. Since you're gonna be signing contracts with businesses and property owners, you want to come off as professional as possible. So you'll need to have a presence online. I always choose Bluehost because they are the most reliable for any kind of startup or new business website. With all their packages, you get a free domain, a free SSL, and access to 24 seven support. So you really can't beat it. Okay, so now once you pay for the plan with Bluehost, you're gonna get the login credentials and you're gonna wanna save this information and deliver it to the web designer in the next step. If you don't know about Fiverr, it's a company that sells affordable web development and marketing services. All these services get done really, really quick. All you do is type in what you want in their search bar and it will reveal tons of people who are willing to help you get a website set up 
in three days or less. Once you choose the person you wanna work with, go ahead and give them the Bluehost details and then communicate your vision and your plans for the new website. So while they're working on your new website, you're gonna to need to activate a merchant account for your customers to pay you through. Many businesses usually use PayPal, Square, or even Stripe. I personally like Square. They make it super easy for me to accept any kind of payments in store, on the go, via a payment app, on my website, or even over the phone. An account with Square is free. And since you're planning to manage a vending machine business, this is gonna come in handy. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you're gonna to need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Since you're a vending machine business, you're gonna to need to reach out to businesses and property owners who will allow you to place a machine on their location. Get a contract agreement together for a set amount of commission and decide on how long the machine will actually stay on their property. On average, most vending machine companies will pay the business owner anywhere from five to 7% of each sale made out of the machine. Vending machines do really well at grocery stores, malls, apartment complexes, hotels, universities, hospitals, airports, laundromats, workplaces, everywhere. <laughs> so be prepared to outline whose responsibility it is to replace all the goods in the machine, who's authorized to remove the money, who's gonna repair the machines, and who's gonna come stock the machine up. Now, I know what you're probably wondering. What is the price tag on this baby? Startup costs for this kind of business are usually anywhere between $2,500 to $3,000 on average, but could go as high as $10,000. So if you're looking to buy multiple machines, be prepared to drop the big bucks. Have a look at the bottom of this video, and if you can use any of these products or services that I recommend, please feel free to make a purchase. Every sale helps support this channel and for me to keep bringing you the money-making tips. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free. So if you want it, just go to my website, enter your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. And of course, if you like this video or you know someone else who needs to see this today, tag a friend, hit like, or give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.